Now, some of y'all out here smelling exactly like me, and I don't like it. And yet, here I am dropping tea again. God damn it, I don't learn. Hey gems, it's Grandma Shamima, and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing a fragrance haul. Hopefully this video will be short and sweet, but I just wanna share the new gems I've added to my collection that I'm super excited about. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So before this video ends, don't forget to like, comment, share, uh, subscribe, join the gem squad, okay? Cause I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how to smell good, okay? And I'm not charge you, it's free 99. I'm not charge you for all this tea I'm about to spill. And I have fragrances of all price ranges and different like scent types. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's get started. So the first product I'm going to mention is actually this Sol de Janeiro body butter. And this is in Delicia Drench body butter. <laughs> um, this is their newest release and this is in the number 59. So this is what I started out with. When they released this on Sephora, they only had the body butter. So this is what I got. And when I tell you this smells beautiful. If you are a vanilla girl, this one is for you, okay? Now, personally, I don't find the actual formulations of the body butters to be the most moisturizing butters ever on the planet. I typically call them house butters. I wear them in the house at night to go to bed. You smell good. Your skin is moisturized enough that you're not a dry, scaly crocodile when you wake up. It doesn't leave a greasy film on your sheets. Like there's a time and place for everything, right? But this as a fragrance base, oh my goodness. Like I've applied this butter and actually I do wear it to go out. Anyways, I've applied this butter while getting dressed, left the room and came back and the whole room smelled like this. And that's just the butter. So like I said, when they first came out with this, they only had the butter. But then the fragrance came out. Yeah! I was stoked. The second it dropped, I placed that order so fast. I have never in my life placed a Sephora order with one item. That was my first time. Cause I, I didn't want to wait. I didn't have time to go looking around to see if there was anything else I wanted. I knew I wanted that spray. I ordered it so fast. I ordered it so fast. Okay. When I tell you vanilla, now the actual notes, let me pull up my notes. So it's supposed to be sugared violet, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood. It just gives a really nice vanilla. And it's not like your typical vanilla, like there's just something to it, but essentially it's vanilla. Like, that's just what it is. <laughs> Both items come in 8.1 ounces. I believe the butter was $48 and the spray was 38. Now, I love how fragrant these products are, but like low key, these, pri these prices for these butters and stuff, y'all is taxing. Like, and they say that technically this is a perfume mist, but when I see body spray, I see body spray. I don't see extra or the perfume, okay? I see body spray and you charge me $40 for body spray, it's all gonna be crazy to me, but then I'm always gonna buy it. So who's really the problem? Yeah, but definitely a fan. If you're not into super sweet gourmands or if you're not into like vanillas, you're probably not gonna like this. But if you are, check them out. Did not say short and sweet because I just did a whole rant about that. Like, <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> now, speaking of perfume mist, I did purchase this gem from Ulta. This is from the brand Truly, and it's called Ma Chérie, um, which is basically my sweetie, my sweetheart, whatever in French. Um, and this is classified as a warm gourmand uh, and black cherry perfumist. Okay, uh, the notes specifically uh, say black cherry, rich dark chocolate and salted caramel, but this really just gives the black cherry, okay? So I I am not the biggest cherry fragrance person. Like all the cherry uh, scents that came out, I did not purchase. But for some reason I wanted this one. Like for some reason, now that the hype has died down, I kind of want a little bit of cherry in my life. 
I don't know what that's about. But you, I do have a tendency to hop on a bandwagon long after the band has stopped wagging. I even use that right, but y'all, y'all get the point. Y'all see where I'm going with it. Um, so yeah, this definitely gives heavy cherry, and I got it specifically to mix with my other fragrances to enhance the cherry and maybe try some perfume combos. But we're gonna see. So I have worn her a couple times, and I am enjoying her. Um, and yeah, she was one of those, those fragrances I smelled in store, and I was like, oh, I don't need it. Do I need it? I don't need it. I don't have that often. Let me say, but because I'm not used to the whole cherry thing, I was like, Jamie, like you're just going through something. But I kept thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it days after. So I finally just took the plunge and purchased, and now she's here with moi. So this is $23.90 at Ulta, and this is 100 mils. Now, speaking of cherry fragrances, like I said, I don't know what's going on, but when Black Opium came out with the over red fragrance, I wanted it like at this point it's giving Jamima you're just you're just trying things just to try things because I don't even like black opium anymore I had a time when I was a black opium stand I had like two or three bottles of the thing and I, I wore it out is essentially what happened I had it for so long and wore it so much that I stopped liking it like I just I low key get nauseous smelling it so you would wonder <laughs> What would make you buy another version? What would make you buy black opium and cherry? Two things that you don't even really like. Like, that's kind of insane. But for some reason, I took the plunge and I'm not mad at it. I don't love it because it's very much black opium. Like, the cherry in it is minuscule. Minuscule. It's like you just wanted to ship the packaging. This is black opium. <laughs> They may have accidentally dropped two or three drops of cherry in the batter, in the in the mix, the formula, and instead of just throwing it all away, starting all over, they said, "Oh, let's just call it Black Opium Over Red." Y'all not fooling nobody. Whoever messed up, y'all got me, cause I bought it. But you know what? I would never wear this alone. I would absolutely pair this with the Truly. So you you know, I, I did a thing. I justified this purchase because now these two, they go together real bad, real bad. Um, and I just, I don't know why. I just, I wore it out. Cause I'm like, it smells good. It's not like I'm smelling it and it's like, oh, gagging. It smells good. Um, I just, I just wore it out. So I'm hoping that with the cherry edition, I will be more inclined to wear it more often. So we'll see. Now, earlier we had mentioned body spray, okay? Um, and one of my favorite body sprays that I always mention time and time again is Dream Bright by Bath & Body Works. Now, the girls be putting me on. The girls done told me done told me that I needed to rack up with this last Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale because they were discontinuing Dream Bright. Now, why would y'all go and mess up a good thing? Now, respectfully, why would y'all go and mess up perfection? What is your problem, okay? But is I didn't have time to fight, okay? I, I heard the news and despite having two spread, like I, it's so fragrant and it, for me, I don't typically have issues with body sprays not lasting on my skin. I, my skin just loves to stick, to uh, to, smell and, to smell good. I, I can't relate to some of the struggles. And plus I'm a chronic over sprayer. So maybe that's it. Like by the time it, you, it penetrates the skin and then the oils that are already layered before and the butters, it sticks to that. Then I spray it on my clothes and my hair. Like you gonna smell something for more than 30 minutes. Okay, um, so despite my having excess bottles of my Dream Bright spray, I think I have two, I bought two or three, and they're so fragrant. Even though I do have a spray, I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not even close to being done. Like, I'm good. Um, but because the fear, <laughs> I went and bought more Dream Bright now. The sprays were done. They were all sold out, but they did have the the perfumes left. And so I said, okay, well, even better. I'll get a perfume. You Don't threaten me with a good time, okay? Y'all got the sprays. I will surely take the perfume. So I went ahead and bought not one, but two bottles of this. Is this not giving obsessed? 
because while I love Dream Bright, my favorite way to wear this is paired with Delina, the original. I cannot, when I tell you it's my most complimented, most worn, most projected, most sillaged fragrance I own, when I wear that perfume, I'm going to smell it. You are going to smell it, your friend's going to smell it, and I'm going to get compliments because it smells amazing. Now, do I believe in gatekeeping? Yes, because I shouldn't even be putting y'all on. And I've been putting y'all on all my signature fragrance, on my signature smell. Now some of y'all out here smelling exactly like me and I don't like it. And yet here I am dropping tea again. God damn it, I don't learn. I don't learn. But it is what it is. And now that it's discontinued, I feel a little better about it. <laughs> I feel a little better about it. <laughs> That's messed up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I bought the perfume for $60. Um, I, ooh, no, I didn't buy it for 60. It cost $59.50 and I bought it for $14.87. That's insane. Wow. I think they're really gonna discontinue it. Um, it has sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. It's very bright, very like open, not necessarily airy, bright, I mean, your jean bright. Oh, duh. <laughs> I don't, don't want to say fruity. Yeah, fruity. It's like berries. It just, it just gives. And it's such a happy smell. And then you blend it with like the, the, the rosy musky of Delina. And it just does something with the pairing. Because even looking at the notes, I wouldn't necessarily look at this and then look at Delina and say, oh, let's try it. I just happened to try it one day and I've been in love ever since. And honestly, I'm sorry. Like, I can never be one of the girls that don't love Bath & Body Works. Their products are so good. I'm, I'm sure it's full of chemicals and it's, it has carcinogens, but that's why they work so well. <laughs> they last so long on the skin. I'm telling you, you put a, a, a body cream, a body butter, maybe a little bit of the the, the, the shimmer that they have in the fragrance, and then you layer with the perfumist or the uh, body spray. And you tell me it's not lasting long? So it's, you, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Speaking of bright, more happier scents, I took the plunge and I purchased Glossier U. Now, I have I have smelled this perfume before and I was not wowed. I was not shaken. Nothing was stirred in me. I was like, oh, like, I mean, she's cute, but she gives very much like plain Jane. Like, nothing about her really stands out straight from the bottle. So when I first smelled her, I actually went to the Glossier store and I walked out with that. I was just like, like, I mean, it's just whatever. Nothing about her is special to me. But I've realized over the past year that sometimes just a purely pretty smell is exactly what I want. It's exactly what I want. And I know that because I am currently on my bottle of my Transcend perfume from the fluid project and it's just a pretty smell it's not like anything extravagant it's not anything to write home about necessarily but i love it so much and i wore her down and so when i went to sephora and then i smelled it again i was like you know what more and more this is becoming my vibe like i'm here for this i really have all these different like personalities and they all enjoy like a different kind of, of fragrance a different kind of scent and i believe they label this as like a sheer uh, let me make sure I get this right. Warm and sheer personal fragrance. So in my mind, it's more like a skin scent where it's not necessarily meant to project. People are not gonna like walk past you and be like, oh my God, what is that? And you're 50 feet away, you know? You're not gonna walk into the elevator necessarily and when you walk out, somebody else is gonna walk in and be like, oh, okay, I know such and such was in here. That's what I've been told. I haven't worn her out, 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 out. Yeah, you know? So I still gotta play around with her because, you know, somebody hit it up different. Yeah. But when I say skin scent, that means it's very much something that you enjoy close to your skin. A partner will enjoy it. Maybe a friend if you're bringing them in for a close hug. If you're sitting and talking to someone in close quarters. If you're having a little powwow, a little key, a little tit for tat, and, you know, you're, you're being drawn into someone's eyes. You know, and you guys are having just a little chat. You're getting to know each other and you're bonding. And then they just happen to get a, a good whiff of your skin, of your personal scent. Ah, ah. And apparently they say that this is the, the, the scent that makes all the boys go wild. But I mean, boys are already wild. Like they, 
you just need to have a hole. <laughs> the standards aren't high. Seeing how I've fallen in love with certain fragrances this year, going back to smell it, I was just like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely here for this, and I actually really love it. I'm so sorry. I know it's a lot of discourse around this fragrance, but I, I really love it, and I like how it pulls on my skin. Fragrances smell differently on different people, depending on like what they have on their skin already, their pheromones, all of that, and I'm sorry, but I love how it smells on me. So I'm a fan. So like I said, I'm gonna find ways to make it project more and last longer, because that was one of the complaints that I saw was that it wasn't lasting. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to playing around with her. I might even take her out for a little test drive. Like, let's see if the boys really like to come to the yard when you wear that. Mm please. So the standard bottle that you can find at a Sephora, I believe is a 1.7 ounce and that goes for $72. I went ahead and got the big size because the way I ran through my transcend, I said, oh, I know this is going to be like in my daytime perfume rotation. So this is the big boy. This is a 3.4 ounce, I believe. And I got this for $104. I had to get this shit because they did not... <laughs> Now, let me see, did I write down the notes for this? Um, pink pepper, iris, and ambrox. So, yeah, that's what's in it. And this, it smells delish to me, absolutely delish. Yet another fragrance I should be gatekeeping. I should be giving all of these, honestly, y'all putting y'all in my business. I don't like that for me. Next, we have Navitas Parfums and Baklava Royale. Ciao. <laughs> this, this is what it looked like, yeah, please. Um, now, I purchased this off a recommendation from another fragrance person, content creator that I watch, and I blind, I blind bought the, ooh, actually the last three were all her recommendations. That's crazy. <laughs> I just handed people my money. Um, but baby, when she said the notes of this, I said, mm. That sounds like there's no way to go wrong with this. So let me just give it a try. I love a warm and spicy, a sweet vanilla and a pretty, okay? Um, I could do like a smoky like tobacco, something if it's mixed with vanilla. Like I have like scents that I gravitate towards. I have notes that I gravitate towards. And when I heard the notes of this, I said, oh, like I feel like there's no way I could not like this fragrance. So let me hit you with the deets. So for the baklava perfume, they said it was crafted around the famous dessert baklava, of course. Um, the top notes are orange blossom and Italian bergamot. The middle notes are honey, pistachio, and grilled almond. And the base notes, amberwood, Madagascan vanilla, and Brazilian tonka bean. Let me tell you something. Every single goddamn one of these ingredients, like, ah, ugh. The only one I'm not too familiar with is Amberwood. And when I was looking on their website at their other fragrances, Amberwood seems to be in a lot of their fragrances. So I'm very curious as to how that smells. The next time I go to like Indie House or like a Indie perfumer situation and they have oils, I wanna see if they have Amberwood so I can smell it by itself. But like Tonka Bean, Vanilla, um, Almond, Orange Blossom, Bergamot, like y'all the list of notes that I love, honey. Like get into it. Um, so this bottle was $170. Um, and I bought it from the, the website and it was a 100 mil. Okay. Oh, and this is the extrait de, oh, that makes sense too. So there's eau de parfum and there's extrait de parfum and there's also eau de toilette. So all the, the difference between all of those are essentially the, the levels of oil in them. And the highest concentration of oils are in the extrait de parfum. So it's basically eau de toilette and then eau de parfum and the extrait de parfum has the most amount of oils in the fragrance, which means it's gonna have the strongest projections, gonna have the most fragrance, the, the strongest sillage, like you're gonna have the most bang for your buck in a fragrance that is an extra or intense. Um, and I haven't realized that's what this was. It gets right there on the front. I'm blind. I can't see. I'm blind. <laughs> Baby, when I tell y'all she smells good. Okay, the Kaoli Pistachio fragrance, cute, cute. Um, her grown and sexy auntie, yeah, that's her. That's her. Her grown and sexy aunt that only sees them maybe like 
once a year, maybe every other year, who's out doing things, okay? That's the auntie you hear about, she's famous. Some of the younger ones haven't even met her before. Like I just, I can't explain the sexiness and the sweetness that comes from this bottle. Just innocent, just look at this bottle. It's like, yeah, it's cute. Like it might get something, she's cute. But man, what comes from this bottle is just sweet deliciousness, baby. And let me tell you the mistake that I made. I had the nerve to wear that delicious fragrance out. And then I topped it with a splash of Maison Mataha Escapade Gourmand. Now this is just syrupy sweetness, like this is just, oh. And then I wore these together and I I dared to leave my house. Baby, I almost didn't make it home. <laughs> I almost didn't make it home. Because baby, the way this one man, could not get enough. I mean, can we blame him? <laughs> I myself tried to kidnap myself after smelling this on me. And it just has a beautiful, sweet, but like smoky sexiness to it. And then I added this sweetness to it as well. And it's just, ah, uh, when I tell you I love a like deep, sweet fragrance. My God, oof. When I tell you sex in a bottle, and I feel like, I don't know if I can say that. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot get enough. Now, speaking of fragrances that she put me on to, we have this gem right here. Um, I've mentioned this on the vlogs before. I think I talked about it in a live. Um, I talked about it on TikTok. <laughs> One thing about it, I'm a blabber mouth. Like I blab about everything to everyone. Like Jamima, keep something for yourself, please. But this is Chagoff Oud Amar, um, beautiful bottle. I definitely have another one of the Chagoff Oud fragrances, but I like this one because I'm not really an Oud girl. Like I said, I can do a heavier perfume if it's paired with something sweet like vanilla. Um, this one, I feel like just gives a sexy vibe. Like the oud is not overwhelming in this. Um, and that's speaking from someone that typically does not do a lot of oud. So if you love oud, then you should try this. This might not have nothing in there for you. <laughs> but I really like this because this is another sexy scent that I feel like would pair beautifully with like a night out outfit. Um, this is another one that I feel like would bring the boys to the yard. And she's just affordable from Amazon. Hold on, let me get the tea. So it was $48.85 on Amazon, and the bottle is 2.5 ounces. And they said that the top notes are iris and melon, the middle notes are tonka and rose, base notes, cedarwood and vanilla. Like, just based on the notes itself, like, oh my gosh. This is right up my alley. And once again, when she was giving the notes, I was like, oh, let me try this. Not to mention, I felt safe doing a blind buy because it is from Amazon, which means it's more affordable. Um, and honestly, these Arabian fragrances be eating the girls up. When I tell y'all they give longevity and they give projection, like you are going to smell it, okay? And you don't have to overspray like I do <laughs> to, to, to really smell it, okay? And when you walk, that little smell that trickles, that sillage that you leave, the, you know in the movies, the, you can see the, the odor, not the odor, fragrance waves. Yeah, that's sillage. I feel like the Arabians, they get that down pat, okay? So you get quality, but on a budget. And who doesn't love that? I know, I love that. And that's why she's here, okay? So shout out to Sherry TV, because once again, putting me on. Yeah. Last, but most certainly not least, um, she once again talked about um, our moth Club, Club de Nuit Imperial, okay? Um, this is another Eau de Parfum, and I got this from Amazon as well. So this one is $40.29 for a 3.4 ounce, and this was labeled as a floral fragrance for women. Now, a lot of the girls were saying that this was a dupe for Delina Exclusive. Personally, that's not one of my favorite Delina scents, so that didn't necessarily call to me. But I figured, you know, at first I didn't like Delina. I was not a fan of Delina at first. Oh, that's my thing about it. I break my own heart. Like, how would I? How? But my the error of my ways were corrected. Same thing with Glossier. How I thought it was nothing special. The error of my ways have been corrected. I have been redeemed. I have been renovated. I have been fixed. 
okay? There is hope for me now. So I said, let me go ahead and try this, okay? Top notes are lychee, bergamot, nutmeg. Middle notes are Turkish rose, vanilla, peony, and musk. Base notes are vanilla, cashmere, incense, and cedar. Now, on my skin, this does pull really powdery, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. I can handle powder in a fragrance, um, but it has to be real particular. Like, it was one perfume I had back in the day that pulled powdery, but it did something to me. This one mm, doesn't speak to me the same way that fragrance did. So I've been trying to find ways to mix this to make it work more for me. Um, so this was a blind buy that I wasn't in love with, um, but it's okay. Like I said, I only paid, what, 30 bucks for it? 40 bucks. Mm, actually, that's kind of spicy, $40. I could do some things with forty dollars, but nonetheless, I feel like if nothing else, pairing this with my other like fruitier, brighter fragrances will always work. I went to Gin today with my oh, actually with my Sol de Janeiro in sixty eight, I think, and that was cute enough. Um, it didn't wow me, but it was cute, and so I feel like I can find ways to wear this. But alone, off the bat, I just I'm not in love. But the bottle is super cute though. Um, but yeah, this is another one of my blind buys and while I don't love it, I don't regret it either. Um, I can work with it, you know, I can work with it. But that is it for today's video. As you guys can see, I, I definitely, uh, did some damage, but there's like such a wide range of costs. Actually, not really. I didn't spend too much on any of these fragrances. The most was the 170 for the Nav Nav Navitas. Navitas, I'm not exactly how to pronounce this, but the Baklava Royal um, or Royale. Um, yeah, but man, do I love to mix a good fragrance. I, oof, y'all, I'm just like, what am I gonna wear tonight? Ah! I love fragrances so stinking much. But you know, I'm not really great with like the notes and stuff. Like a lot of times, like I'll smell something, but I can't necessarily articulate the different notes that I'm smelling. I'm better with vibes. Like I can set a scene for you in the different ways that I would wear this fragrance. Like, um, like a cute floral brunch fit on a bright sunny day, or like something I, I could wear on a fall warm evening date night. You know, we go to a jazz club, things like that. You know, I feel like I can give vibes better than I can do like notes and stuff. But that's why I want to take the time to write it down, honey, so y'all can get the details because the notes matter. The notes absolutely matter. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if I get more fragrances, I would definitely do this again if you guys enjoyed it. But I definitely had a time, child. I had a time and I, I think I'm gonna wear Glossier tonight. I'm gonna mix the Glossier with the Club de Nuit in Pelliard perfume and see what that gives. Yeah, but that's it once again. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>